Welcome to my channel. I'm Buffy and this is Buffy Designs and in this video it is a part of the Twine It Up. Yes, I said it, Twine It Up is back. So please stay tuned to see what I've created. So I got the idea to do a wall hanging, um, kind of like a macrame wall hanging because I had the same similar situation as in this movie here where a hummingbird came to me and I believe it was my mother who had just passed away. So they mean a lot to me and I love them so much. They are just so cute and beautiful. So I have this cute little nest that I saved from a, our tree branch that when the wind was really bad last year it broke this part down which I was so sad because this is a hummingbird nest and look how cute this is. Look at that. They are so amazing. I love it. And I was so sad but they are still around here. They found a new home, thank goodness. And so I'm going to use this for kind of a a hanging portion and I am going to use this cute twine that I found on Amazon that has cute little uh, leaf saw in it was ribbon and they also had green um, I don't know why I bought blue I guess I was trying to match something but I never used it so I'm going to use it for this craft my plan is to do a sort of macrame type thing with the twine onto this and do like a wall hanging. So stay tuned and we'll see how it turns out. To ensure that this cute little nest will stay intact, I went out and sprayed it with some Rust-Oleum Clear just to give it that extra protection. So I finished doing the coat on it and I glued this down so it would stay better. So then I've cut 10 pieces of these and I'll have to measure them and put the dimensions in my description box. But I'm just doing a little loop through and I'm doing 10 across and we'll show you how I do that next. So I'm just starting off by putting the strands on and I folded them in half and there's a loop at the end so you just wrap it around and then feed the rest of the, the twine around and give it a little loop. And I did that all the way across. I think I did four on the left side and then the rest were all on the other side and I'm not sure how many I ended up with on the right side but I tried to make it as even as possible and now we're ready to do the macrame portion of it. Okay, so I originally put them on backwards, so I went ahead and put those around so that when you put it on, um, you do the loop over sort of thing that way and then pull this through that bottom loop, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna try a square knot. I'm learning myself, so I'm looking at the uh, computer and doing it as I go. So we're taking these four pieces here, these four cords, and we're going to um, leave the two in the middle and take these two on the outside. So you're going to take the left side and put it over the two in the middle and under this one. Then on this one you're going to take this under all of it and over the right, I'm sorry, the left side. And my kitty is in the in the way here. He wants to play with the, the twine. So then we just take this up and hold this and it has sort of this square knot starting. So that's the very first one. So now we're taking it again and we're gonna do it again. So we're gonna take those two in the middle, put this side, left side over that one, and under this cord. And then this one's going under all of it, and through and over the left side. So then we're gonna do this. And see how that's looking. 
So I'm going to do that a couple more times just so I can get a little bit of a cute uh, kind of a design going here. The Twine It Up Challenge is hosted by Creations by Fabi, and she's so wonderful to put this playlist together and you want to check out that playlist link down below. Make sure to watch every single video and to see what everyone has put together. Thank you, now let's get back to the video. And do these four on this side and do it similar to what we just did. The way it is, and we're going to incorporate this side one here. those under the right and then right under over the left. Again, just to get that square knot in place. Hard to tell that there's a little design going on here. So we're going to take the left over the two center, under the right, the right is under all of it and over the left. It's gonna look like but we're we're just trying something experiment <laughs> I don't know what happened to the footage of me putting the beads on I'm so sorry about that but I put them on single strands after painting them with some uh, really pretty blue paste paint that I've gotten from plaid and um, just where those decorative pieces where I've kind of did like a little loops and stuff. Throughout this whole thing I'm using just the square knots and as I'm creating the design with the square knots um, after I've got all of them across the top there I'm kind of going to incorporate a few together so I'm taking two strands of the one side and two of the other to incorporate another square knot to kind of bring it all like tapered downwards if that makes sense so here i'm just doing some more of those uh, square knots as you can see so here's a spot where i was explaining earlier is I'm taking a part of one and two strands of the other. So two on the left, two on the right of two separate square knots and creating another square knot. So across the top I have the big bead right under the nest and then the smaller beads I'm going to have um, three on the top. So one on the left of the large bead, one on the right of the large bead, this one here, 
and then one on, on the very end, which I'll show you in a little bit. So these beads I'm painting with matte finish, finny matte, iced turquoise. It's design cream from Folk Art, and it's similar to chalk couture paste, and it's real chalky and just really pretty color. So it matches it pretty good, pretty close. So that's what I'm using. So now I've got the two square knots here that are bigger because of that area is wider. And then the two square knots there. And I need, I've got one here. Um, and two, two square knots here, two square knots here. So that it balances out. And then the bead on each side, the two square knots, and then the bead here. So now over here, I'm going to do just square knots across, and then another small bead over here. And then um, I think what I'll do is make it kind of taper in um, to a point, maybe. And like I said, this is all experimental because it's not even like a normal macrame. So, and also, like this, I don't know if that, if in macrame they just tie a knot like that for a bead, so I'm just doing what I do. <laughs> so you don't even have to do it this way, you could just do, leave it hanging and just tie beads all in it and that would be cute too. So, and after it's all said and done, I might even end up doing that because <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm liking how it's turning out, but we'll see. So I'm just going to go really quick and do the, the two square knots over here right now and then I'll come back to you. Okay, now that I have all the square knots on the top, I am evening everything out with that other bead on the end there. And it's just on the last strand, and I am just going to do like a slip knot to hold it so it doesn't slide down. And you could use tape on the ends of these as you're putting the bead on. So now where the large bead is, I'm taking again two strands from that side and two from the other side, and I'm going to do another square knot. I think I do two square knots here. And you can make loops like I did there, and it just looks really pretty. Um, you could put it as far away as you want or as tight as you want, and just kind of create your own design. That's basically what I did here. And I think this really did turn out pretty cute after all. At first I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but I really, really, I really like it. So you'll see at the end how pretty it turned out. So we're just going to keep doing those square knots and kind of combine them so that it's like a V underneath the nest and gives that little cute design to kind of show off the nest to say, you know, that is the main focus here and um, just have it all hang down like that. So to make it a little bit more even, we're just incorporating some more of the square knots on the sides of that design I just did and also making those loops that I talked about and have the um, bead, you know, where the beads are to hang singly other than the big bead in the center there. I wanted all the other ones just to hang down. And so I'm just kind of trying to incorporate a little bit of a uniform design on each side here.
and it probably looks like a big noodle mess going on right now <laughs> but I promise you it turns out pretty cute and I'm just arranging things and making it a little bit looser and straightening it out so now I've just laid down the beads where I want to put them and I'm just um, putting them on those single strands and just making sure where I want them and then I end up taking them out and tying the knots on top and bottom so they don't move. And after adding a few more beads and fighting my little Presley for them, <laughs> I unraveled the strand there to show you that that's what it's going to look like clear across. And I'll show you in a minute how it looks. And here you can see it's all unraveled. And what it looks like is that they've uh, braided them like two strands of twine and then the ribbon in the middle. And it's easy to just take apart. So now I'm just taking the same twine and tying it for a hanger on each side. But we're not done yet. So here I have a leftover robin egg from Easter and I thought it'd be cute to just paint it and have some of that coloring come through so it looks kind of like a, a little egg so that I could put it in the nest. So then I had this cute little Dollar Tree wood cut out and I thought it would be cute for this and I'm just using some antiquing wax to stain it on the front and the back. So now for that cute little nest I'm just pushing it down a little bit and the egg was a little big so I'm cutting some portion off of it and just gluing it with some super glue kind of at an angle on the back side of the nest as you can see and then the bird I'm just gluing in front of the egg so that it looks like it's sitting with its eggs <laughs> and then I had to glue some of the front to it so it would stay up and I have these little feathers I think I got them at Joann's a long time ago and that blue matches it really well so I'm just trimming it down to have some pointy feathers for the tail and just gluing them behind the bird. I know it's not a hummingbird but that's the closest I could come for any kind of bird. <laughs> so I put two little tail things on it to give it a long feather tail and I think it turned out great. It looks super cute. Thank you for watching my Twined It Up video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And if you could like and comment on this video, it helps my channel out a lot. Don't forget to check out that playlist with all the other wonderful creators to see what they did for the Twined It Up challenge. And make sure to come back. I hope to see you again. Thank you so much and have a great day.